I'm going to do here's the following. I'm going to say here that I'm going to say the hypotenuse is eight. Why is the hypotenuse eight? It's a radius. Okay. I'm going to say that this length is four. Can everybody tell me why this length is four? Twelve minus eight. Again, I'm going to do x. And then I'm going to say sine x cos x is cos x is four over eight. Cos inverse four over eight, you get sixty. If that's sixty. That one there has to be 120, the end. Okay, next one. And most people got that wrong. Very rare people got that right, actually. Now, next thing. Find the area of the shaded region in the rectangle. Well, A is the rectangle. What's the rectangle? The rectangle is 8 multiplied by 12. 8 multiplied by 12 is 16. Or sorry, it's 96. Now I gotta take away the sector, okay? Now the sector we said is, uh, what's it? Theta over 360 multiplied by, what is it? Pi r squared. Theta is 120, that's 360. Pi and eight squared, right? Put it into the calculator, minus 64 pi all over three. Throw all that into the calculator and you get 64 pi. And that there's your answer. Okay. Was there any measurements for this? Centimeters. Technically speaking, I could lose marks for not putting in centimeters squared. Any questions? Okay. Shh. All right, guys. Now, shh. put your calculator. Shh. Put your calculator into radians. Shift setup radians. Okay. Enter in eight. Shh. A plus five sine pi t. So it's going to be pi x. Pi x over six. Close bracket. Okay. I actually didn't do a table function. That was really smart of me. Okay. 8 plus 5. Okay. Shh. Start at 0. 0 is midnight. I'll do 24 hours if my calculator allows it. It does. After 5 hours, my depth is... 10.5. So get this. It's going to be dt. So it's going to be d5. And you're replacing in 5 for the t value. Now my calculator has already done this for me. It's going to be 5 pi over 6. And the answer is 10.5 meters. Okay. Now, please remember, your maximum, your maximum value of sine is what? What's the maximum value of sine? 1. What's five times one? Five. A plus five? Thirteen is your maximum height. Even though it doesn't, does it appear in my calculator? No, it only appears as 12.33. But remember, your maximum height is actually going to be 13. Okay, just be careful with that when you're doing it, okay? Next thing. Uh, yeah, what's your minimum height? Eight take away five, which will be three. You'll be asked for that later, 313, being your max and your min. Now, let's move on. Right, fill in the table. Okay. So, if I do what I did in my table function, except you're going to go up uh, two every time, aren't you? Fill them in. And when you fill them in, you're going to get eight, 12.33, another 12.33. But please remember, lads, what's dead center? What should be dead center of that? 13 should be dead center of that. So if I check out 3, 3, 13, 13 is definitely the max. Okay, so you should have done that extra point, really. Okay, 6 is 8. This is 3.67, and that's another 3.67. But what's halfway between two of them? 3, 9, 3. And then what do we get then? 12, 8, 14, 12.33, another 12.33, and lads, 
What here then? 13 at 15. Okay. I'm going to take a quick shortcut. Shh, lads. Can somebody call out that formula for me really quickly? Equals what? 8 plus 5 sine pi what? Pi x. Okay, so pi x and then over what? Okay. Now, is everybody happy with this graph here? Okay, now, shh, this here, shh, this here is the graph you were meant to draw. Only go as far as 16 if you can help it. Timmy's went a bit further. There's nothing in the American scheme to say about going further, but try and keep it lovely. Okay. So, lads, everybody happy enough with that? Here's is not my day. So, uh, I Okay, guys. Oh, actually worked. Okay. So, gents, here's what you have here. Okay. And when did the first one work? No, it didn't. All right. So, that's here's your graph here. Okay. Now, we drew the graph. That's five marks. Now, what's the next question it wants from us? Find the period. Well, the period happens every. Every. So. What's here to here? That's 3 to... That's 3 to 15, which is a period of 12. Okay. Some is... Uh, that's perfect. Uh, what's our range? Okay. 3, 13, 12 hours. Is it 12 minutes or 12 hours? 12 minutes. Oh, it's hours. Sorry, hours. 12 hours. Okay. Here's the really tough one. What's my original formula again? 8 plus what? Sine pi t over 6. Shh. Okay. Lads, you listening? Okay. Equals 5. Here's how you do this. Shh. Bring the 8 over to your side and take it away. It becomes minus 3. Is 5 sine pi t over 6. Grab your 5 and bring it underneath. How about you with that? Now, ASTC determines that that sine is negative in two quadrants. What two quadrants are they? The quadrants T and C, which is usually 180 plus R, but in this case, it's going to be pi plus R. And the other one is usually 360 minus R. But in this case, because we're talking about radians, what does that mean? 2 pi minus R. So what I'm trying to tell you is that I'm going to sign inverse root 3 over uh, minus 3 over 5 in a second. I'm going to put the whole system into radians. And then I'm going to do I'm going to do shift sine inverse minus 3 over 5. And what you get is minus 0 0.6435. So pi t over 6 is, oh, once again, I'm only getting the, uh, I'm going to keep it as a positive because I need to find out what t and c are. So I actually have to add that onto t and c. So I have to change that to 0 0.6435. Okay, so what we said was we signed inverse the uh, the three over five, which would be the A answer, but we're looking for T and C. So our R answer gets changed. We have two answers for this, all right? So our first answer, now it says the first time it occurs. The first time it occurs is the T answer, 
And the second time it occurs is actually the uh, the C answer. So you only need the T answer for full marks here. But either way, we replace the R value with 0.6435, and we also do 0.6435 here. And we use our calculator now. So we get shift I plus 0.6435, and that is 3.785. So 3.785. To find the time, we're going to multiply by 6 and then divide it by pi. So we multiply by 6, divide by pi, and we get 7.228. 7 and then we press the change button, this button here. Seven minutes, it says what time, so 7.14 a.m. So it's seven hours, 13 minutes and 45 seconds. So it's 7.14 a.m. I'm going to do the same procedure for the second answer, where I'm going to do 2 pi, 2 pi minus 0.6435, and I get uh, this number here, so 5.64 if you want. It's very close to pi t over 6. I'm going to multiply by 6 and divide by pi. So multiply by 6, divide by pi, and I get 10.77. And then if I change this into hours and minutes, I get 10 hours and 46 minutes. So the second time will be 10.46 a.m. Now, if I take these two times, uh, so I'm going to need these two answers for the next question, because what it says is, uh, using your graph or otherwise, estimate the length of time during a 24-hour period for which the marina gates are closed. Now, if I go back to my diagram here, and we're talking about five here and here, so that'll be, uh, and I still have my geogebra graph here, and you can see that this happens twice in 24 hours okay so we can see that this happens twice in 24 hours okay so you can do this two possible ways the first way would be to say as i said earlier that's seven sorry that's uh, sorry go again i didn't make it high enough it needs to be you need to see the five okay we go again now it's here to here and you can say that that's like 7.2 and 10.8 if you want some people did it that way 7.2 10.8 and then you got like 3.6 hours here and then 3.6 hours here something like that but the way I would have done it was 7 hours and 14 minutes and this is 10 hours and 46 minutes this means that it's closed three hours and 32 minutes. And this happens tr twice a day. So for me, that's six, that's seven hours and four minutes for me. Okay, and that's the end of the question.